Hello, brother, brothers and sisters of Christ. Uh, God bless you all. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I haven't been really posting any videos, but uh, what Lord's been dealing with me is that uh, for me to have compassion on people. Um, I thought I had some compassion, but I guess I was very cold and very sharp at moments, and I didn't really um, care about other people too much. But I think Lord's been teaching me that you need to care for other people that are around you, and God has placed them in your part so that you be nice to them and you show the genuine love of God. I mean, say hello to them. I mean, ask them what what are they going through. I mean, what's going on. And, you know, just encourage them with your words because the words that you speak can either give them life or death. So encourage them, give them the word of life, give them, give them, um, give them the strength of Christ, the word of God. If they're down, you know, tell them the Lord is, Lord is there to help you out. And all you need to do is pray and ask and, um, and pray for them with, by water, watering the seed that you have sown. Because our words are seed. And you need to sow those seeds into their hearts, the Word of God into their hearts. And also water them by praying for them or praying with them. If, if you want to be better off, pray with them. And then impart, impart the love that uh, God has placed in your heart for them. And always, uh, always care for them and do what you need to do with that, to help them. But don't be manipulated on the other hand. Don't be manipulated if, they, if, they, if, if they're asking for things that are over your you know over your will and over your um conscience to help then don't you know usually it's manipulation so what you can do is just help them according to you know according to what god god leads you to help but don't be manipulated so um yeah like, uh, just be be nice to them treat them like a child treat them like you know a, a beautiful person you know they might not look like that. They might not have the appearance because we do judge by our appearance. We judge by people by their appearance, but don't judge by that. But instead, just treat them like your ch ch child, you know, or, or treat them like your brothers and sisters in Christ. Or like, you know, how some people love their pets more than the human. You know, they, they pet their pets like, oh, so cute and, you know, but they won't you know, say anything nice to their brothers or sister, but they would instead of judge with their eyes and be cold to them or don't even say hi. Oh, I don't need to say hi. I'm just going to go pass by and be cold and independent. Don't be like that. If you if you want to have the love of Christ with genuine care, you know, say hi to them, hug them, give them a hug. Yeah, give them a hug or, you know, shake their hands and, you know, impart the Holy Spirit onto them, them you know, and impart the word of faith that you are a child of destiny. You are a man of God. You are uh, you know, child of God, so you know, be, be, be encouraging them with positive words. You know, God bless you mightily. You know, spiritually, physically, financially, I bless you in the name of Jesus. And those things that are hindering uh, you right now, be removed in the name of Jesus. Be thou removed, as as Jesus says. You know, be thou removed to the mountain. You know, with faith, because our words, you know, produce faith. And you know, the devil. Demons, you know, they, they impart to you bad thoughts into your head like poison because they're snakes. What does po uh, snakes do, do to a person? They bite you and then what do they do? They inject poison into your veins. You know, these poisonous thoughts, these bad thoughts into your veins. Like, uh, let's say, like sinful thoughts, sinful lust or whatever, all those negative thoughts into your brain that, oh, you can't do it, you're not worthy, you, you can't do it. But no, inject the word of faith that no, the, the one that is in me is more greater and powerful than the one is the, that is ruling the world, the world. And tell the devil, you have no power over me. You have no power over my family. You have no power at all whatsoever because I am a child of God. And I say, I claim that you have no power. So use your tongues to bind them in the name of Jesus. You know, bind those dirty demons and tell them to go, get up, be removed. Three demons go, you know. So, so you, you have to, with authority, project the Holy Spirit. And I project the Holy Spirit onto you in the name of Jesus. Um. <clears throat> also, um, yeah, that's the revelation given to me by God. You know, He showed me how the venom, you know, penetrates a man, and you know what what it does is destroys the venom. Starts destroying what God has placed in them. You know, the Word of God. It destroys the Word of God. So. If, if there's poison in you, suck that out. Take that out. 
And then he's like, cleanse this poison out of me. And then the devil tried to say that he's all powerful, and he, but he's not. The devil's not powerful. Neither demons and demons are powerful. They are, they are weak. They are weaklings. And don't let the weaklings tell you what you should be doing or what you shouldn't be doing. Ask the Lord with sincere heart. And the devil might try to tell you that with his voice that pretending that he's the Holy Spirit, but you know what? Um, you have to bind the devil's voice in the name of Jesus. I bind those dirty demonic spirits' voices in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Spirit be removed. And ask the Holy Spirit again. Yes, do you want me to do this? Do you want me to do that? How should I do this? Teach me, Holy Spirit. Lead me, guide me. You know. Also, tell yourself, build a vision in your heart. Build a vision in your heart that whatever you, you, you want to accomplish in your life, build a vision and a dream. And, and be impregnated with their dream. And then pour water and, you know, so that seeds can grow and produce. You know, and do not worry. Those thorns that are in your heart, those, those thorns are, are from demons and devils, you know. Take those stones and dirty, dirty idols out of your life. Take those idols out of your heart. And say, you know, I'm not going to be worried about this life. I'm not going to be worried about money or job because God will provide. God will provide. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim God will provide. And what you have to do is, with faith, you have to go out there and then seek for jobs and do their interviews and do whatever. And change your people around. Change your circum circumstances around with the power of the Word of God. Read the Bible. You have to have the Bible and read it daily so that you have the Word of God in you and installed. So in times of need, you use it with your powerful mouth. And you know you have to be prayed up in the Spirit so that your spirit can generate power into these words. And when you actually speak them, they actually instill power upon your life. And... Um, yeah, love your enemies and do unto do good unto those who who persecute you and do evil against you. You know, even though they may talk bad about you and do all these evil things, do not let that enter your head because those are venom of devil. So, you know, don't let that control your mind and say, you know, Lord loves me and I have to love those who even hate me or even might not like like me and be compassionate to them, just say hi to them, you know. Oh, you don't have to hang around with them, but you could just be nice to them. You know, just give them a gift or do do something. You know, give them a gift of of even a even of a little little value. Yeah, just just be genuinely nice to others and good to others. But you know, do not agree with sinners or do not agree with them if they want if they tell you, oh, let's hang out, let's go to this place, let's go to that place. You know, and if if that place is a sinful place, say no, I can't because I'm a man of God. And because I'm, I'm a man of destiny, I cannot do the things that you do. And nor should, should you do them anymore because those things will lead you to evil and to poverty in life. Tell them straight up. Tell them straight up. Oh, you know, those, don't do those things. And because, oh, they'll be okay. No, like, no, that's not okay. You know, you'll reap what you sow. Tell them straight up. The word of God. You'll reap what you sow. Don't sow bad seeds. You know, oh, but this parting is okay. You know, it's like meeting people. Where are you going to meet them? And you know, be like, no, God will provide. Don't, don't try to provide for yourself. Let the Lord provide for you. Okay. And, um, yeah, basically, you know, you have to choose who you hang around with. Like I said, cut those people who are negative influences to you. Just stop hanging around with them. And you can talk to them, bless them, but you know, they will try to influence you. They'll try to, the demons that are in them or on them or around them. You know, when you hang around with them. You're not just hanging around with them. You're hanging around with their demons. So what they're gonna, those demons will give you bad. They're, they'll bite you here, about you there, and you won't even know. And they'll inject poison into you. Those mosquitoes will, you know, inject their poison and make you swell up and look ugly. So don't let those mosquitoes, those, those dirty small demons and devils, you know, inject their poison into you, because you're hanging around in the bad place. Because you're hanging around the wrong crowd. Okay, so God bless you all and may the Lord protect you from those evil men. And then um, I hope and pray that God will also instill good people into your lives. And those who do, do not have wives or husbands, good good wives and husbands, I, I pray that the Lord will give, them, give you the man of God and woman of God into your life. And also those who need family, I, I pray that God will instill you spiritual powerful families into your life. As brothers and sisters of Christ, God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.